What's going on guys, Garden737 here and welcome back to another video. So today I am playing some more Forza Horizon 3 just because it is literally now one of my favourite games of all time. I just almost took out my own ears. But yeah, uh, Forza Horizon 3 is incredible. It's such a good game, such a good game. And yeah, I think... Uh, from now on, this channel is mostly going to be Forza Horizon 3, uh, just because there's so much to do on it, and it's uh, it's still quite new. Uh, it came out in 2016, so only last year, and of course we're only in February of 2017. So actually, I don't know what the uh, what the oh, what is it? what the release date was, what the actual month it was released. I'm not too sure. Uh, but yeah, I've only had it uh, almost a week now and I've already played about 11 hours, I think it said. Right, so I'm just gonna quickly head over to my auctions because I was selling a bunch of cars. Let's see, okay, so my uh, Countach didn't sell, neither did my pimped out MX-5, that's fine, I was kind of expecting that, uh, but anyway, I'm level 31, uh, this is my GTR, uh, same, oh, oh nice, oh yeah, that's because I was playing in uh, free run, so yeah, uh, this is uh, essentially Roman Atwood's uh, GTR, I've tried to make it the same colour as well, uh, it kind of is. It kind of looks the same, apart from I don't think. Uh, oh, I just realised I mean manual, not automatic. Lol. Uh, so yeah, uh, what I'm going to be doing for this video is actually I'm going the wrong way for it, and I don't actually know why I'm in manual because I'm not too keen on it in manual, especially with the fast cars. I can never change gears uh, fast enough. Oh, come on, enter the bloody garage. Right, there we go. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to be doing a garage uh, showcase. So, I'm going to show you what's in my garage, basically. So, we're going to go over to my cars. Obviously, we've got the uh, 2012 Nissan GTR Black Edition. Uh, but it's actually in red. Uh, if you follow Forza, uh, you'll see in the corner uh, the rating, which is S2, which is the second from highest, so it goes... Uh, oh, I forgot what it goes now. I think it's like D, C, B, A, and then S1, S2... And then X, which is 999, uh, which is the highest level you can get, 999. Uh, so yeah, mine's S2966, so we're close to 999. I don't think you can actually get this to 999. Uh, but yeah, it's worth 105,000 credits, which I believe it should be much more, uh, just because it's such an awesome car. Uh, next we have the 1968 Abarth 595 Essence. Now you may think, why the hell have I got this car? And um, well, uh, let me just quickly show you, because uh, I've tuned it so it can do wheelies, hopefully, if it works. Uh, and for this, I'm actually going to go into uh, Automatic. Just because, and uh, no, not controls. Uh, difficulty. There we go. Automatic. Cool. Accept. Right. All right. So I don't know if you could see that. I uh, briefly did it before I. Uh, that before I crashed into the wall. There we go. 
So yeah, as you can see, we are doing wheelies. And it's just such an awesome car just to mess around in. It's very skiddy. Because uh, you have to fiddle with like all the aligning and stuff. So yeah, so let's take this back. And oh god. Yeah, as you can see, very, very skiddy. But I, I love it just to mess around in. Uh, take it to the airfield, get some uh, friends. You can just ramp off each other's cars. Oh, no, that's a barn finder. I've got so many barns that I need to find. Right, let's go back into the garage. Obviously mine's just Gardner. Uh, next we have the Aerial Nomad, uh, which is like an off-road buggy type thing. Uh, it's really nice actually. I uh, quite like that for off-roading. It is really good. And uh, next... Alright, so I have just like a bunch of random cars that I've either won from completing races or levelling up. Or... Because, as you know, when you level up, uh, you do uh, the wheel spins and you can either win credits, which is what you use to purchase uh, upgrades and things and cars, uh, or you can either win a car, which is uh, quite rare, uh, but some of the cars are pretty decent. Uh, so yeah, uh, I think this may be one that I got from a, a wheel spin that I just won. Uh, as you can see, I haven't upgraded it, it's still a D495, it's still new. I haven't used it at all, so I don't know what it's like, so to be honest, I can't really comment on the car, uh, but I may use it, pimp it up in the future, and if I do, I'll be sure to update you guys. Okay, so next we have the Chevrolet Camaro Z28, uh, 1970s, uh, awesomeness, it's such a nice car, uh, let's... Uh... Uh, let's go get in car. Does it take us outside? I think it does. No, it doesn't. Alright, so yeah, as you can see, uh, I've modified this quite a bit with the little stripe at the back. Two stripes, even, at the back. And then the little turbo at the front that looks awesome. Uh, so yeah, that's... That, for fuck's sake, I pressed the wrong button. sounds nice as well so that's always a plus right let's see through that we've gone through that and uh, the Dodge Charger Dayton Hemi uh, and again I haven't used it so I can't comment on it uh, the Ferrari Dino uh, now if you guys watch my last video with uh, Jessel 7 through 7 uh, we did a cruise he was in the Ferraro Dino, Ferrari Dino even. It's uh, a barn find, uh, so you just find it in a barn and uh, your mechanic guy uh, restores it for you. Uh, so yeah, he's used it, he's upgraded it, he, he says it's awesome, it's such a nice car. Uh, so yeah, I've got it as well. I haven't done it up yet, but I uh, definitely will do in the near future. Uh, next is the Ford Raptor. Uh, now, me and some kid that I randomly met online uh, decided to do an SUV. Uh, like, we customised an SUV and uh, we raced against them, we compared them, we raced them. Uh, we might uh, be doing a video on it, uh, I'm not really sure. Uh, but yeah, that may be coming soon, I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, it's a great little off-road car. Uh, this has actually got 10 gears, which is pretty handy. Uh, going up hills and stuff. Uh, so yeah, it's brand new. Uh, for some reason, it comes with this uh, weird Xbox skin on it. Uh, I'm not sure if you can change it. I didn't really uh, modify the looks. I just did uh, mechanical upgrades. Uh, 
make it faster and stuff like that. Uh, as you can, should have pointed out this uh, before, but the performance uh, on the left, on the right, even sorry. Uh, so yeah, just check that out for uh, how good the car is. Uh, so obviously, the higher the number, the better it is. Uh, tens the highest. So yeah. Uh, next car is the Shelby GT three fifty R. Now this was actually my uh, first car. When you uh, first play the game, you get to pick like your starting car. Uh, I forgot what the other cars were, but I uh, got the Shelby GT. Uh, it was a big mistake because it uh, it's crazy. It's powerful and it just slides everywhere and it's horrible to race in when you first start out. Uh, so yeah, if you're new to the game and you've made it this far, and uh, went for the and or you're just starting out in the game and you're trying to figure out which car to get first, do not get the Ford Shelby GT. Uh, it's it's horrible to drive. So next, uh, Ford XB Falcon GT. Again, uh, never never used it. Can't comment on it and. Same for the Mustang Boss, uh, but actually that looks quite nice, so I may, may kit that out, because that does look pretty sweet. Next we have the Ford Super Deluxe Station Wagon. Uh, this is kind of like a, a Muggy Miner kind of thing, kind of situation with the wooden details at the back and stuff. <laughs> Uh, the front's a bit different and a bit longer than the Moggy Miner, but it's the same kind of idea. Uh, I have upgraded this just <laughs> just for the fun of it, just because it's to me it looks it looks nice. It's a nice classy, you know, uh, car that will get you that will get you around. And so yeah, uh, I just upgraded it for the hell of it. Uh, Holden Tirana, I'm pretty sure that's a barn find as well that I haven't upgraded at all. Uh, the Sandman, that's also a barn find. And same with the other Holden, 50 Ute, whatever that is. Uh, next is my Jaguar XJ220, which is the first car that I got off the uh, auction house. So I'm going to show you that now. So yeah, for some reason, uh, when I'm in the garage, it doesn't show up. I don't. I don't know why. It just doesn't. Uh, so yeah, that's it's nice. So yeah, this is my JX two twenty. Uh, I might change the uh, the colours of it because I'm not too keen on this actually anymore. When I first got it, I was it, it looked all right, but I don't know why. But it's just it it's not doing it for me anymore. So yeah, there's the Jaguar JX20. Uh, Lamborghini uh, Squadra Course Hurricane. Now. Uh, I got this as a gift. It was like uh I went on to my messages one day and it was like a gift car from Forza Horizon. Uh but I haven't got the DLC. Uh so unfortunately I can't use it, but I will be uh I'm saving up all my money to basically just buy all the DLCs at once. Uh so there'll be a video on all the new cars in the DLC. Uh, for you guys faces to watch so yeah that'll be pretty cool uh, so yeah uh, watch out for that because it will be happening soon and let's move on uh, Lamborghini Urus uh, this was the second car that I uh, managed to pick when I because uh, obviously if you know you have like festivals and you can open different festivals 
and when you open your second festival uh, you can pick a car that you want to keep and I cho chose the Lamborghini Urus and I put this police uh, speed enforcement skin on it just because it did look amazing uh, so yeah that's that looking almighty fine now this is my oh now this one is a close winner with the GTR on the favorite car spot uh, it's a toss between the Aventador and my GTR as my favorite car and that's activate Norton online backup uh, interrupting video so shout out to Norton I don't actually use Norton uh, it was just randomly installed on my laptop when I got it and I just haven't been asked to uh, uninstall it but yeah uh, I absolutely freaking love this car in fact I think Forza uh, has this as my favorite car because it's the one that I drive the most or I have been driving the most quite recently uh, so yeah Forza has this as my favorite car and it is one of my favorite cars in the game uh, it's just so beautiful and with the skin that I've got on it it kind of looks a bit like a, uh, the Tron car Tron Tron I can't remember what it is. Uh, but yeah next is the, Mer Mas the Maserati Pininfarino Berlinetta I always mess that name up uh, but yeah that was that was what I drove uh, in my last video uh, with Jessel 737 when we went on our retro car cruise uh, it's an awesome car uh, it's worth 2 million credits uh, but unfortunately I can't sell it for that much because no one will actually buy it for 2 million uh, next is my Merc AMG uh, Coupe which I've never actually again I've never used uh, the GTR we've already been through Nissan Skyline again I've got loads of cars in here that I haven't actually used because I've just been winning them from doing races and stuff uh, so we've got Skyline uh, 2000 GTR uh, we've got a super van uh, Reli Reliant uh, again it's a barn find it's the lowest of the low D100 uh, you pretty much can't get any worse than that uh, so next is the Renault Clio RS uh, this is one that I got on a wheel spin that I won and yeah I might customize it custom that customize it uh, it's actually quite a nice car and it does have decent specs to be fair uh, to start out so uh, next the Renault Alpine 1600s again actually that looks quite snazzy let me just have a look at this let me have a look I actually quite like the front it's weird and unusual and I kind of like that in a car hmm We may have to do a a customization video where I actually customize the Alpine because that does look pretty beast. Uh, right, where was I? I've done the RS. Uh, right, Sunbeam Tiger. Uh. I haven't customized it but I have had it out and I have used it and it is a pretty snazzy car uh, it just it looks awesome uh, kind of looks like uh, like a, a parade car type thing and you'll have like people sitting in oh well I would say you would have people sitting in the back but probably not Uh, so yeah Sunbeam Tiger it's a really nice car and even without any upgrades it is a decent car and yeah that is my cars that is my little selection of cars 
Right, I'm just gonna go into uh, progress and stats. And then let's see. Uh, time driven, 13 hours. So I've actually spent 13 hours on this uh, on this game already. Uh, oh no, my favourite car, it says Nissan GTR. Okay. I was kind of expecting that actually because I have been riding it, uh, driving it for a while. Uh, the garage value is 7 million, uh, which is pretty decent. Uh, seeing as how I have only just started out kind of oh, excuse me all right then i'm just gonna quickly okay yeah that's just telling me that those uh two cars didn't sell uh but anyway uh thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed this video then don't forget to leave a like subscribe for more and i will see you guys in the next video goodbye I think about all the time, think you made me what? all of mine. Hate to say, you know the love is blind. I'm about to see, I close my eyes, they can't see you.